and then we're going to go uh, turn around and go down to Shep Ranch. at Cascade, Idaho. Since 1975, we have been delivering mail to approximately 20 different places in the backcountry. In the summertime, we have two different routes, one on the, the middle fork of the Salmon River, and the other one uh, goes on the main Salmon River up to the Selway and also the Chamberlain Basin area. Well, how's life? Well, I've been flying that mail for 34 years now. Oh, I feel responsible to these people. And, you know, you get pretty close to them, but kind of like a big family, you know. So we have a lot of good times with them. You want some milk or tea? Mm, that's okay. 491 Cascade, Unit 25 is that Shep Ranch. The year before I started working. Let's see, 34 years, yeah. Unit 25 is clear. Um, right now, Ray comes once a week on Wednesdays, and uh, he brings to us correspondence from uh, the Forest Service, receipts from guests, you know, paying their bills. They bring our bills, they bring Netflix. Uh, we have backcountry radio, and so Carol um, lets us know what his route is and what his departure times are. He always buzzes the, flies over the runway before he lands to make sure there was no wild animals or horses or anything on it. So when we hear, hear him fly over, we usually have enough time to get the vehicle out there. You got one more box. <laughs> is the most efficient way to, to deliver the mail. We got mountain ranges to cross, uh, we got rivers, drainages to go down to. Somebody that doesn't just do this kind of flying, you know, that looks awful narrow to them. And, you know, you come down the river and then you got to turn and the runway's right there. And uh, No, I'm not tired of it, but I'm not going to say I don't get tired sometimes. <laughs> yeah. If I got to three years, I'd be 75. That's old enough for doing this charter work. Maybe I want to do a little bit more relaxing type flying and, and other things. And But I would like to think that there will be somebody else that would carry on with the, the tradition and do the route just like we did, started 34 years ago. I'd like to see this tradition of the mail being delivered in the backcountry to continue.